Good morning children and welcome to another Open the Book Online. If you didn't watch our last Open the Book story video in January, you probably won't know my name. I'm called Brian and I'm going to be leading Open the Book Online today. As usual, we're going to start with our special Open the Book song. The words of the song will be on the screen and like she did last time, Pat will do the actions to the song. Now I want you to sing the words out loud and if you sing loudly enough, I might even be able to hear you from my house. If you can remember the actions to the song, why not do those as well? So are you ready? Then let's go. I really enjoyed that and I think I could even hear some of you singing and now it's time for our story. In the Bible we read about people God chooses to do special jobs for him. Did you know that God doesn't only choose grown-ups? Do you remember Samuel, the little boy in our last story? Well, God chose Samuel to speak for him and pass his messages on to the people of Israel. And today's story is about another boy, only so big, and a man this, no, this, no, he might even be this big. So let's find out what happens as we open the book and read David the Giant Killer. Goliath was big. He had problems getting through doorways. His head was always bumping up against the ceiling and his friends thought twice before inviting him to dinner. Goliath had a big spear. 10 feet long at least, with a big iron point, and his big bronze armour weighed a hundred pounds or more. Goliath had a big voice too, and one day he used it. He stamped out in front of his army of Philistines and shouted across the valley to the soldiers camped on the other side. I am Goliath, he bellowed, and I dare any of you to come and fight me. Win the fight, and we will be your slaves. Lose, and you must work for us. David was little, just a boy really, who looked after the sheep. When he wanted a break from that, he carried cheese to his brothers in the army. And that's what he was doing one day when he heard Goliath shout. David was a little angry. 
Who does that giant think he is? Huffed David. Doesn't he know that the Lord God himself watches over us? Why, with God's help, even I could beat that bully. So David took a little walk. He went to see the king. I want to fight the giant, he announced. The king almost fell off his throne. But you are so little, said the king. And he is so big. A lion is big, answered David. And so is a bear. <coughs> but when they came after my sheep, the Lord God helped me face them and fight them off. He will do the same with this giant. All right, the king agreed. But at least let me lend you my armour. The armour was big, too big, and so heavy that David could hardly move. So he gave it back and picked up five little stones instead and a sling and his trusty shepherd's staff. Goliath gave a big laugh when he saw the little shepherd boy. <laughs> and he took two big steps. David ran a little way. Two more giant steps for Goliath. And David ran a little further. They were in the middle of a valley now, and everything was quiet. Goliath roared a big roar. <coughs> sucked in big breath of air. <coughs> and raised his big spear. David sneaked his little hand into his little pouch, pulled out a little stone and slipped it into his sling. Then he spun it around his head and let it fly. The stone struck him on the head and he fell with a big thud to the ground. Ouch. Goliath's side whispered a little. David's side shouted a big Hooray! And from then on, some pretty big things happened to the little shepherd boy. He was given a king's reward. He was promised the hand of the king's daughter in marriage. And one day, he became king himself. The very best king God's people ever had. Can you remember what the giant's name was? Yes, it was Goliath. Now try to imagine just how big Goliath was. Was he as tall as the room you were in? Or was he even bigger? The story of David shows that little people can sometimes tackle big problems. David trusted God to help him, and we can ask God to help us too. So close your eyes and think about a problem you might like help with. Now, I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer, Say Amen after me. So close your eyes again for a moment. Dear God, when our problems seem very big, please remind us that you are there to help us. Amen. We're going to have another song to finish Open the Book Online today. This song is about David and Goliath. The words will be on the screen and we're going to play the song twice. If you can remember the tune, why not sing along to it the second time?
when the number on the screen reaches zero we're going to play the song again why not sing and dance to it this time round Wow, that was a quick song. I'm out of breath from singing and dancing. Well, we've come to the end of today's Open the Book. And we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed it. And we look forward to being with you for our next Open the Book story, which is called The Wise King.